A lot of people, it seems, didn't take it that way. You're not gonna be no boogeyman in West Memphis because you're gonna be dead in hell. How do you feel about the West Memphis Three support group? To me, it's like a Jeffrey Dahmer fan club, Charles Manson fan club, Ted Bundy. You could name them all. Some people want to come to the rescue of a savage to get maybe their 15 minutes of notoriety on TV. So we get emails from all over the world, actually. You know, everybody knows there's doubt about this case, but we just want people to look at it again and maybe question it. They keep wanting to find someone else to blame to get their three off. That's their job, to take care of who they want, draw suspicion, do their thing. But the world knows who's guilty and who's innocent. Could you hold that out for me and let me get another shot? We wouldn't like to talk about the case. I'm here today because this is a hearing for Damian Uckles the fifth anniversary of the tragic murders which he was convicted for but we do not feel there was really sufficient evidence to warrant that conviction yeah they're guilty they're guilty as they are and that's an atrocity for you to even want to say where's the profit going for these t-shirts it all goes to raise publicity about the case every penny of it goes back into doing that why didn't the, why didn't the profit go to the victims families Son of Sam Law says that Eccles are under these three can make any money out of it. It is going to the victims' families. It is it's trying to find out who killed these little boys. They know who kills these three little boys right there. I don't know it. They're cold-blooded murderers. In your opinion, it doesn't doesn't add up that way. In for my us. opinion, and 24 jurors out of the state of Arkansas's opinion. Don't just say my opinion. These t-shirts. They're worth trash, garbage. You know, here's where I live today, number 11. An apartment somewhere in the state of Arkansas. That's good enough. I came from a real nice big home with all the amenities and luxuries that you could have to what I like to call my humble, modest studio apartment. A giant 300 square feet. A bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. But there's benefits to it. it. Takes me five minutes to vacuum, five minutes for the air conditioner to cool the place down, and I don't have to walk far to go to the bathroom. So it's a good little spot to live, to be by yourself, to control your thoughts, your emotions, and to live the rest of my life as God sees fit. As I look at all these dark clouds roaming in on me today, it can very easily remind me of May 5th, 1993. This half was a bright, sunshiny day. This half became gloom and doom. And as the death and destruction rolled into West Memphis, Arkansas and consumed three babies' life and killed them, it's kind of like this cloud front is rolling in and cooling off the day and consuming me as I stand here in the wind amidst the storm. And the storm is what I have been in for the last three years. But thank God there's a bright side on the other side. I've been down in a lot of low valleys and people have tried to take me out. But I'm still here. Jesse, Jason, Damien. Those names ring in my ears daily. And I still hate you. Forever and a day shall I still hate you. People that's talked to me about it, which I, I hate to say it, but they think maybe he might have had something to do with the, those murders. Mark Byer says that's ridiculous, but these charges and the questions they dredge up may stick with this family forever. Byers, I need to ask you about a defense exhibit number E6, this particular folding lock blade Kershaw knife. If I could approach the witness, Your Honor. Yes. So on January the 26th, did Gitchell tell you, let me explain a problem we had, and you need to answer this for me. We have found blood on this knife. I don't remember if he said there was or not. Do you have any idea how human blood was on that knife? Well, yes, I would have an idea. I cut my thumb. All right. You recall stating, I have no idea, no idea how it could have any human blood on it. 
you recall giving that answer? Yes, sir. Then do you recall stating, I don't even remember nicking myself with it, cutting the deer meat or anything? Is that the answer you gave? Yes, sir. And is that the truth? I might not have remembered it at that time when he was questioning me, but I could have remembered it later on in the day and talked to him about it. These are for you, Melissa. I know how you love red roses, baby. This is all I can do for you. I know your heart was broken. I know you couldn't stand the death of your child. But oh God, I wish you hadn't left. You remember when we were on our honeymoon? How happy we were. We worked together. We ate together. We went everywhere together. We weren't husband and wife. We were best friends. I loved you with all my heart. You remember when we opened our jewelry store? We finally accomplished something. Had two sons doing good. Nice house. Nice business. Two dogs and a cat. Just an average family. Trying to live our life the best we could. I can never put into words how much I loved you. You were everything to me. You were my life. I lived to see you smile. Those animals killed you. They're evil animals. And they killed you. And I blame them for your death. And all for you morons, infidels, and fools that think I had anything to do with it. Go to hell! Go to hell! I love my wife more than any man could love his wife on the face of the earth. I'd have died for her. I took care of her. She was my life. I didn't do anything but love her. And for all you sick son of a bitches out there that think I had anything to do with her life, go to hell! Go to hell! Think what you might, but you can kiss my ass.